Good morning. Today is Tuesday, September 17th, 2024. Please join me and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Happy birthday today to Kaylin Clausen and Annabelle Chique. I hope you have great birthdays today. For lunch today, we'll have soft shell chicken tacos, romaine lettuce, cheddar cheese, savory refried beans, mixed fruit, and milk. For breakfast tomorrow, we'll have an apple frutal, mixed fruit cup, sunset sip, and milk. Here are the golden spatula winners from yesterday. In kindergarten, it was Miss Krause's class. First grade was Mrs. Sermon's class. Second grade was Mrs. Swift's class. Third grade was Miss Drolly's class. Fourth grade was Mrs. Esgar's class. And fifth grade was Miss Mancuso's class. Congratulations. Some of the eighth grade girls basketball teams have their first home games this week. We will have theme nights for each home basketball game this season, and tonight's theme is Neon Night. Put on your brightest neon outfit and come out to support the teams. 7th grade starts at 4.30 and 8th grade plays afterwards starting around 5.30 p.m. Thursday's theme will be Whiteout. See you there! Student Council is starting. If you're interested in applying, please stop by Ms. Schultz's room for an informational packet and application. Student Council hosts dances, fundraisers, collects items to donate to local charities, and much more. Any 6th, 7th, or 8th grader is welcome to apply, and applications are due next Monday. Last Wednesday, the Running Braves hosted Seneca and Plano at home, bringing home some top finishes and new personal bests. In the girls' two mile, Josie Mueller of ICS matched her PR with an excellent 13 minute, 48 second first place finish. Scoring for the Lady Braves in 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th place was Cora Passerman, Isla Thanenbao, Angel Johnson, and Aniston Caputo, with Caputo topping her previous best by 3 seconds at 15 minutes 33 seconds. With the Lady Braves taking the top spot, Audrey Bloomberg capped off the evening with a new PR as well, crossing at 16 minutes 34 seconds. In the gentlemen's two mile, the boys put on a clinic on the course and scoring first for the Braves was Connor Duffy of Saratoga, Saratoga sorry, with a stellar 13 minute, two second, second, two second, second place finish. The fellas scored early in fourth, sixth, seventh, and eighth place as Colton Matora, Sam Byros of ICS, Peyton Luberta of Saratoga, and Jaden Brock sealed a team win for the boys. Matora, Byros, and Brock each earned new PRs in their efforts. In addition to Drew, Bi Drew Bibley of Saratoga, Jackson Lowry, Max Mueller of ICS, Theo Sargent, Carter Sullivan, Liam Ochoa, Joey Barton of Nettle Creek, and Dol Dalton Muffler, and Finn Wright. Great job, guys. Cross Country heads to Manhattan tomorrow to take on the Demons. Go Braves! Missed the speech team meeting last week? No worries. Another informational meeting will be held this Wednesday, September 18th. Grab a friend or two and join Mrs. Blotty during lunch to find out about this awesome club. Bonus, you could do speech and your other fall and winter sports. Student ambassadors for this year have been chosen and the list is posted by the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade bathrooms. And finally, we had an anonymous joke. And the joke is, how many tickles does it take to make a squid laugh? Ten tickles. All right. Well, I hope everyone has a great day. Let's remember our Morris motto. And remember to be safe, be responsible, and be respectful. Have a great Tuesday, everybody.